Things didn't go too well the last time I connected to a dreamer. Mira, do you have a second? Depends. Are you done? I need those bots to go out tomorrow. Almost done. I, I was wondering if I could leave a teensy bit early today. Be kind. Rewind. Almost? Mostly. I'm mostly done. In your experience, Petal, what's my answer to a question like that? Uh, one filled with expletives. But it's really important that I... Of course it's fucking important. It's always important. Is never not important. You wouldn't be asking if it wasn't important, would you, Kuchia? So what's so important that you feel it takes precedence over the work I pay you to do? I have an appointment with the editor of The Hand. They're doing a story and... And he can't do this story without you. Even though he's a professional reporter and you're a... a... What are you again? You tell me. Most of the time I'm running errands. I should be programming. Should is a big word. I should be making a million yuan. I should not be forced to run my operations out of a murder chuding garage. And you should be grateful you have a job that pays a decent salary. Decent? A salary. Go on, get out of here before I change my mind and make you work overtime. Just be here extra early tomorrow to, I don't know, what do you hate doing the most? Sitting at my terminal learning more about neural programming? I really, really hate that. Mopping floors. That's it. You'll come extra early to mop the fucking floors. All right? <sighs> yes. Fine. Sure. I'm not available at the moment. For any questions pertaining to the Lea Uminska campaign, please contact the Unity Party directly, as I'm no longer employed by the campaign. What do you mean you won't let me in? You will let me in. This is my office. Step back, citizen, or I will be forced to shoot. I will not step back, you pisslick. You'll have to shoot me where I stand before I. Sully? What's going on? Christ on Derby, Zoe. You shouldn't be here. We have an appointment. Ah, Kasha, of course. I'm such a salaka. I should have messaged you as soon as I. Our offices were attacked last night. I masked goons. They trashed everything. Our screens, our furniture, everything. When I called in this morning, these things show up. Battle suits, syndicate agents. They take our equipment away, interrogate my employees. And now they refuse to let me back in my own fucking office! What? Why? They claim we're under investigation. Us! We're the victims here! So, what about... But the story? We can't publish anything. Now, they've confiscated our data banks and terminals, cut our wire access. Even my iris is displaying an error message. They have been exceptionally thorough. But the data is safe. Our research is safe. We've learned our lessons. We keep everything on offshore servers in Iceland. No amount of court orders, corporate threats, or military action can get to that data. But, for the time being, that's also where it stays. If we try to access it remotely, they'll intercept our connection. If we try to publish it, they'll stick us in the gulag. Is that what this is all about? What else could it be? We were this close to revealing a connection between the I clampdown, several of the political parties, and the Wati-controlled syndicate. 
So what's gonna happen? Right now? Nothing. We sit tight, let them believe they've silenced us. And then we find a way to publish. Your man, uh, Reza, caught the first fact tracks north this morning, carrying three very expensive and very, very secure hollow mems. We'll retrieve our backups, and then we'll take it from there. Reza did what? He didn't tell me. How did he get out? He got out by not telling anyone he was getting out. He disabled his iris, used a disposable identity, got smuggled across the river in an empty container. He'll try and get in touch as soon as he's made it safely to Iceland, but he will need to be careful. You can bet your god they're monitoring every channel of communication. I guess he's not there yet. Oh shit, Sully. I feel responsible. You just handed us the story of the year. The fact that they'll go to such lengths to silence us is a good thing. But you do need to watch your back, Zoe. He has every chance Watikov's keeping an eye on you as well. The clampdown is their doing, behind the cover of the Syndicate. They want people off the streets into dream time, for whatever reasons. Which is why they're buying political power. Exactly. Now, we have proof that both Unity and the European Dawn are in their pockets. Whoever wins the election will be under Wati's thumb. It seems the only party that isn't being run by the corporations is Manifesto. It's not like they're going to win the election. If we are able to publish a story before the election, who knows? Never underestimate the collective anger of the masses. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm getting a call. Is it Reza? No. Nella. Why would she be calling? One moment. Is this a bad time? No, it's fine. What's up, Nella? I need to see you. Can we meet in the shock? No problem. I'll be there in a minute. Thanks, Zozo. Ah, oh, I... I need to run. Can we talk later? You bet. I'm gonna do my best to make life difficult for these bastards. But I'll call you. Shutting down entire streets. I'm now. here to give you directions. It was a pleasure, sir. Zozo, thanks for coming. Are you okay? I just need a favor. I need you to hold on to this for me. What is it? Something personal. Will you keep it safe? Sure, sure, but why? What's going on? I don't want it to get lost, or... Why would it? Nella, you're making me worried. Are you involved in something? Don't worry about it, Zozo. Just keep that safe for a little while. I'll get in touch soon. Thanks for coming so quickly. I have to run. But uh, I don't... I really have to go. There's something I need to... to do. Bye, Zoe. Something's going on. She looked freaked out. Maybe I should follow and make sure she's okay.
Daga, could you come to the kitchen? Daga, please come to the kitchen. Hey, darling, could you do me a favor? Yes, Papa, what is it? You know I love your beautiful drawings, but I don't like it when you leave them all over the place. Can you please pick them up, put them in your room? And after that, I need you to start your homework. Why is it called homework? I'm always home. What do you mean? Why is it homework when I never go anywhere? I think it should be called just work. Ah, uh, good question. And you're right. I need you to clean up and then do your work. All right. But I don't want to clean up now. I'm busy. I don't want to clean up yet. Yes, Papa. Thank you for not fighting me, Saga. I'm exhausted, and it helps a lot when you do your chores without argument. As soon as you've finished, I'll help you with your home... <laughs> with your work. Okay. I forgot I hid this drawing there. It was a game I was playing. I can't reach it from here. That's high up. I don't think I put that there. It must have flown up by itself. What is it? Can you help me with something? Not right now, Saga. I'm busy. In a minute, all right? If you could walk in my boots just one day, Saga. Yes, I'm cleaning up. Good. What 
What do you want for dinner tonight? Dunno. All right, then I'll just make something I want to eat. No, fish and chips. We're not having fish and chips, darling. I'll make a stew. Uh, I'm not again. I heard that. I said okay. Mama's really pretty. I don't remember her much. That door is a special door. It goes into the wall. See wall. See wall. That's where the fae live. I've decorated the house for them. Remember, we're having a visitor over tomorrow. Who? I told you already, Uncle Gareth. Oh, yeah. Well, he's not my real uncle. Can't we go visit someone instead? You already know the answer to that question, Saga. It's not fair. I know it's not. And I'm sorry, but I need you to behave and be polite to um, to Gallas. All right? All right. Mama's really pretty. I don't remember her much. I need a key to open it. Hmm. I wonder where I put that key. Oh, that's where I left the key. Hey, darling. What is it? It's a drawing I can't reach. All right. Lead the way. I'll give you a hand. How in the balance did that get up there? I don't know. Can you help me get it down? Of course. Come here, I'll give you a lift. Go on, stretch as far as you can. A little further. Got it? Got it. You keep growing, you'll soon be able to reach that high on your own. Was Mama tall? Mama is tall. Taller than me. She could have... Let me see that drawing. This is nice work, Saga. You're better than I ever was at your age. Who is this? That's Crow. Who's Crow? A talking bird. When's Mama coming home? Saga. Well, you said is, not was. Mama is tall. So when's Mama coming home? I honestly don't know if she ever will, sweetheart. But she is out there somewhere? I think so. Okay, if she's out there, I'll find her and bring her home. I promise. Thanks for the lift. You... Welcome. That's all the drawings. I'll tell Papa I'm finished. Done. Already? Good job, darling. I'll help you with your homework and... My work. Your work, right. Your school work. I, I just have to finish up here. Why don't you take the drawings to your room and put them in the right order? I'll be there soon. Okay. I 
I don't like it down there. It's cold and dark and it smells funny. I don't think that's right. It's the end of the story. The girl leaves the tower between worlds. She doesn't know where to go. But